ku da sauraro assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh barka mu da safiya da fatan kun waye gari cikin koshin lafiya yau take laraba 8 ga watan february shekara ta 2024 yan sai ku gyara zama domin jin cika kun labaye kai tsaye daga BBC Hausa ta mai da baka sawa kawo muku wanda wannan channel ta NTV News Hausa ta dauki noyin kawo muku sanan yau na farko zuwan ku wannan channel ku dauke ku danna subscriber sanan ku danna alama ga rawa domin sanar da ku da zarin mun dogar sabe shiri suna na Abdurrahman Bey Kano ta mai da kuka sani wanda zan kasance tare da ku ai sauraro lafiya a cikin shirin namu na karfe 6 da rabi a gogon Najeriya da Niger biye da rabi a gogon GMT da Ghana za ku ji cewa masana kimiyar yanayi na Turai sun ce duniya ta kai mu munan matakin imamar yanayi da aka yi hasashen za ta kai shekaru kusan 20 da suka gabata a Pakistan an bude rumfunan zabe bayan kawo karshen yakin neman zabe mai cike da hargitsi a Najeriya kuma majalisar dattawan kasar ce ta sha alwashin ganin an kawo karshen matsalar tsaro da ke addabar sassan kasar mutun da aka ware aka yi kasafi ba kai musu ba minista dun kudi suna cewa an kai musu su kuma jami'an tsaro suna cewa basu gani ba so muna so gaba da a halara gaba daya a yi ta takare a yau ne ministocin harkokin wajen kasashen mambobin kungiyar ECOWAS ko CDAO za su yi taro to ko menene fatan yan Niger muna fatan wannan zama CDAO ta taimaka ta cire muna wannan takukumi wannan mutanen da barbin su saboda abin ya koma yanzu kusan rai ne kawai ya koma kuma mu talakkawa mu ne ke wahala to amma kafin wadannan da ma wasu rahotannin sai na fara karanto maku labaran duniya suna na rabe a to kabar ranka masana kimiyar yanayi na Turai sun ba da wasu kwararren shaidu da ke nuna cewa har yanzu ba iya cin ma muhimman manufofin rage da mamar yanayi ba Masanan sun ce a karan farko duniya ta fuskanci yanayin zafi sama da digiri 1 da 15 na tsawon watanni 12. An yi hasashen kaiwa wannan matakin ne shekaru sama da guma da suka gabata inda masana suka yi gargadin cewa da dewa a matakin ka iya zama ga garuma barazana ga duniya. An bude rumfunan zabe a Pakistan bayan kawo karshen yakin neman zabe mai cike da hargitsi. hukumomi sun kasa internet inda suka ce sun yi hakan ne domin samun damar gudanar da zabe lafiya more than half a million security officials army police and paramilitary will be out across wakiliyar bbc ta ce sama da jami'an tsaro 1500 da suka hada da yan sanda da sojoji aka jibiye domin samun da tsaro a lokacin zaben ko aje dai an kai wani harin bomb da ya sanadiyar mutuwar mutane 28 a pakistan din Sojojin Iraqi sun ce har makami mai linzamin Amurka da ya kashe mambobin kungiyar da ke samun goyen bayan Iran uku a babban birnin kasar Baghdad na barazana ga tsaron yankin. The attack in Baghdad will raise fears of an escalation of violence in Iraq as it brings Wahilin BBC ya ce har inda Amurka ta kai Baghdad zai haifar da fargabar yaduwar rikici a Iraqi wadanda aka kashe sun hada da shugaban kungiyar Kataib Hizbullah wanda Amerika ta ce na da alhakin kai hari a sansanin sojojin ta dake Iraqi da kuma Syria kungiyar ta Al-Nujaba ta yi alƙawalin mai da martani tare da yin kira ga gwamnatin Iraqi da ta dauki matsaya to kuna sauraron labaran duniyar ne daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC Sakataren harkokin wajen Amerika ya ce bukatun da Hamas ta gabatar kan yarjeje ne tsagaita wuta a Gaza sun ba da kofar da za iya cin ma matsaya Sidi kalaman nasu sun ci karo da Prime Minister Israila Benjamin Netanyahu da yace ba za su taba amince wa da bukatun Hamas ba yana mai jaddada kawo karshen kungiyar ba da jimawa ba Mr Blinken ya bayyana cewa zai ci gaba da kokarin ganin an ci gaba da tattaunawa domin cin ma matsaya kan saban daftarin yarjejeniyar tsagaita wutar a Gaza And I'm not going to speak for Israel or anyone else involved but Again, we believe the space is there and we believe Yace ba zan yi magana da yawun Isra'ila ko duk wani da ko kuma duk wani da abin ya shafa ba. Illa mun yi amanar akwai haske kuma za mu ci gaba da kokarin ganin an ci gaba da tattaunawa. Tarayyar Turai ta nuna damuwar ta kan makomar demokradiya a Senegal bayan da kasar ta dage zaben shugaban kasar zuwa watan Disamba. Mai magana da yawun kungiyar na Bila Masrali ta yi kira da kasar ta dawo da tsarin yin zaben ta na asali. Haka na zuwa ne bayan da ma'aikatar harkokin wajen Amurka ta Allah wadai da matakin dage zaben da ta ce an yi ba bisa ka'ida ba. To karshen labaran duniyar kenan daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC.
to bayan labaran duniyar yanzu kuma sai rahotanni masana kimiyar yanayi a Turai sun bayar da wasu kwararen hujjoji da ke tabbatar da cewa har yanzu ba a cimma muhimman manufofin da kasashen duniya suka amince ba na rage dimamar yanayi masanan na Turai sun ce a karan farko ma'aunin yanayin zafi ya zarta digiri 1 da 15 cikin shekara 1 wanda aka kayyade kasa da shekara 10 da suka gabata a babban taron sauyin yanayi na Paris inda masana suka yi gargadin cewa idan har dimamar yanayi zarta wannan ma'aunin to za a iya fuskantar mummunan sakamako a duniya ga rahotan awwal Ahmad Janyau masanan a hukumar da ke kula da yanayi ta tarayyar Turai sun ce watanni 8 da suka gabata sun kasance mafi zafi da aka taba gani a tarihi kuma zafin teku ya ci gaba da karuwa professor Liz Bentley ita ce shugabar cibiyar nazarin yanayi ta Royal Meteorological Society It's not unusual for us to break these these records in these kind of short phases but to go Dace ba sabon abu bane kar ya wadannan tarihin cikin kankanin lokaci amma kuma zartawa a shekara wani abu ne na daban mai muhimmanci ma'aunin da aka amince a Jijiniya Paris na dogon zango ne mai ina tunanin shekara 20 thresholds it's going to be too late wannan ne dai karon farko da dumamar yanayi ya zarta 1500 na ma'auni ya jeje ne ya Paris a tsawon shekara a cewar masanan na tarayyar Turai shugabannin duniya a 2015 suka amince su rage dumamar yanayin wanda ake ganin zai taimaka wajen dakile fuskantar balawoyi a duniya kuma masana na ganin daukar matakan gaggawa na rage fitar da gurbataccen iskar masana'antu zai taimaka wajen rage dumamar yanayin rahotan da awwal Ahmad Janyau ya hada mana kenan to a Najeriya majalisar dattawan kasar ta ce ta sha alwashin ganin an kawo ƙarshen matsalar tsaro da ke addabar sassan kasar ta hanyar tabbatar da cewa wadanda aka bai wa alhakin kara al'umma sun sauke nauyin da ke kansu shugaban kungiyar sanatocin arewacin kasar sanata Abdul Ningi ya ce daga yanzu babu sauran daga kafa kokarin ganin shugabannin tsaron Najeriya sun yi aiki babu sani ba sabo ajiye ne dai majalisar dattawan ta nemi manya hafsoshin tsaron kasar su bayyana gaban ta Abokin aiki na Bahar Muhammad Fage ya tattauna da Sanata Abdul Ningi. Muna so gaskiya ayi kaman fito na fito ne. Shi yasa a wannan gaye ta akin muka gaici ministan kudi domin daya daga cikin abubuwan da muke ji shine kudin da aka ware akai kasafi ba kai musu ba. Minista din kudi suna cewa an kai musu su kuma jami'an tsaro suna cewa ba su gani ba. So muna so gaba da a halara gaba daya ayi ta takare musan a ina ne matsalolin yan security da take gallazar mutanen Najeriya musamman a jihohin Arewa wannan abu ne da ya dauga mutane hankali domin a kasar nan ba ma tsammani akwai wani abu da ya fi tsaro muhimmanci ganin cewa ka ce wannan zama da aka so aina keke da keke ne kamar a karshe ke nan za a gano mai laifi a bashi laifi ko kuma a dan mataki akan shi mu damu abu da muke ta gani kusan shekaru da yawa na democracy musamman lokacin buhari da wasu lokacin na na, na jonata a gaskiya mutanen da suka yi kuskure ko ba su yi aikin su ba ba da wani mataki akan su ba to wannan abin ya ci gaba da faruwa in haka za a yi tayi a nada mutane wuraren aiki a ba su kayan aiki a ba su kudin aiki ba su kuma cimma burin jama'a ba kuma a ba su ana kallon su a ci gaba to gaskiya shi yasa muka samu kama cikin wannan damuwa muna so mu ayi keke da keke mu majalisa ba mu za mu dau mataki akan cirewa ko sawa ba amma za mu nuna faduwar shugaba kasa ga abin da ya faru ga abin da ya faru idan an ma fi da kudi an sayi makamai to mun tabbatar kan cewa makaman da aka saya ko ba wadanda aka ce a saya bane ko kuma gaba daya ma ba a saya ba kun aika musu takarda gaye ta ne wadannan sauran mutum biyar din da ba su zo ba ko kuma ba a aika musu bane mutane guda hudu mun aika musu mun aika NSC mun aika chief of defense staff amma ba mu aika wa ministocin tsaro ba yanzu mun samu an kara su ne ba mu aika wa shugaban leken asirin kasa ba shi ma yanzu kara shi muka yi ba aika wa ministan kudi ba shi ma an kara shi ne kamar wa'annan ba su zo ba kenan sun bujire wa gayya ta kuni sun ce sun riga sun hada meeting da wasu turawa na EU da aka already aka ba su yau za su yi meeting a office in national security advisor bana tsamanin ko sun kaurace ne kamata idai 
ko da ma da wancan mitin din su gane kan cewa wannan mitin din ya fi alheri a gare su da kasa da wancan mitin din ko da ma me yi a ƙarshen wannan taro da za ku yi da waɗannan jami'ai me kuke fatan gani idan an yi taron wato al'amarin tsaro ya zama ruwan dare al'amarin tsaro ya ya yana furgita ainihin wato foundation na wannan kasa abinda muke so mu a mu gani mu ga changing al'amura Sanata Abdul Nengi kenan dan majalisar dattawan Najeriya Kungiyar kare haƙƙin bil adama ta Amnesty International a Najeriya ta yi tur da kama wasu gaban masu zanga zanga da ƴan sanda suka ya jihar Nija Kungiyar ta bukaci ƴan sanda da su sake sunan take su kuma ne mai afuwar jama'a A ranar litinin da ta wuce ne daruruwan mutane suka fito kan tituna a garin Mina suka yi boroi kan tsadar rayuwa ga rahotan Habiba Adamu Kungiyar ta Amnesty International mai rajin kare haƙƙin bil adama ta nuna rashin jin dadin ta bisa kar ya doka wajen ka mutanen da tace suna da haƙƙin yin zanga zanga ta dumana a kasar Isa Sunusi shine shugaban kungiyar ta Amnesty a Nigeria ga abin da ya sheda mini to gaskiya wannan kame mun yi Allah wadai da gwamnatin Nigeria saboda wannan kamu da ta yi wa waɗannan mutane domin uh, bai kamata a kama mutane saboda sun fito sun nuna damuwa ta tsadar abinci da tsadar magani da rashin kudi da tsananin talauci da ake fama da shi ƴan sanda sun fitar da sanarwa sun ce sun kama wasu mata su uku ko hudu wadanda ake ganin su ne kamar shugabannin tsara zanga zangar sannan da maza fiye da 20 to wannan abin takaici ne abin Allah wadai ne kuma abu ne da bai dace ba domin mutane suna da haki suna da dama idan suna cikin wahala su fito su ce suna cikin wahala abin da ya rataye a wuyan gwamnati shine ta duba ya za ta yi ta warware matsalar ta kawo mutane sauki ba wai ta kama su ba domin kama sun ba zai rage matsalar ba illa ya kara ta to yanzu bi kuke bukatar ganin su ƴan sanda sun yi anasu bangaren to da farko dai muna Allah wa dai da ƴan sanda da matakin da suka dauka domin a bisa doka ba su da haki su hana wani din Najeriya fitowa yayi zanga zanga ta lumana sanan na biyu muna kira gare su cewa waɗannan mutane su sake su ba tare da wani sharadi ba kuma nan take sannan su nemi afuwar jama'a domin waɗannan mutane ba su yi wani abun da ya kamata a ce an kama su ba tsadar abinci ta yi yawa komai ya farashin su yayi yawa mutane sun galabai ta suna cikin wani hali na haulai dan haka suna da dama su fito su yi zanga zanga cikin lumana su bayyana abin da yake damun su kaka kira da na ƴan sanda a jihar Neja DSP wasu a Biodun ya tabbatarwa da BBC a jiya cewa sun kama mutane 25 waɗanda suka yi zanga zanga tsadar rayuwa a ranar litinin din da ta wuce Amina sai dai zuwa lokacin da na hada wannan rahoton bai yi karin bayani ba kan kaman saboda ya ce yana wani taro a bayi da kungiyar ta Amnesty ta sha zargin jami'an tsaron kasar na cin zarafin fararen hula da kuma uci gona da iri zargin da suka sha musantawa a ranar litinin din da ta wuce ne daruruwan mutane galibin su matasa da mata suka bazu kan tituna Amina babban birnin jihar ta Neja dake da kwalaye da kananan alluna suna kokawa kan tsadar rayuwa sai dai washe gari a ranar talata jam'iya mai mulki ta APC ta fito ta zargi ƴan adawa da ke tsaboran dan yi wa gwamnatin Bola Ahmed Tinubu kafar ungulu da kuma yunkurin ta yadda zauna tsaya kasar zargin da ƴan adawan suka bayyana a matsayin gazawar gwamnati tun bayan janye talafin man Peter a watan mayan shekarar da ta wuce ne ɗan kasar ta Najeriya ke fuskantar hawa farashin kayayyaki musamman ma kayan abinci lamarin da ya ƙara ta azzar talauci a tsakanin al'umar kasar duk da matakan da gwamnati ke ikrarin tana dauka Habiba Adamu BBC Hausa a Abuja a Najeriya to game da tsadar rayuwa a Najeriya ga wannan sanarwa ra'ayi riga kowa da irin tasa a Najeriya in kasar da dama ne ke kokawa game da matsar rayuwa da tsadar kayan abincin da suke fuskanta lamarin ya sa waɗansu sun yi zanga zanga Amina da Kano don jin hankalin mahukunta su duba lamarin abubuwa ya mana tsada ka aure ma rabuwa yake yi wallahi talla akan tsadan abinci sai dai committee ta ce ta kafa wani committee da ke nazarin yadda za a lalubo bakin zaren samar da abinci a kasar shugaba bola ame tinubu lalle ya bada umurni cewa makarban gwamnati su zauna su yi wani abu domin a samu saukin al'amari a kasar nan musamman ma abun da suka shafi tsarancin abinci yaya akai ta tsinci kanta a wannan yanayin 
ya ya za a shawo kan wannan matsalar ta hawa farashin kayan abinci wadannan na daga cikin batutuwan da zamu tattauna a filin mu na ra'ayi riga na wannan makon to domin ba da gudunmuwar ku a shirin da zamu kama ku ranar juma'a sai ku aiko mana da sakonnin ku a shafa kan mana sada zamanta yanzu karfe 7 saurakwata a Najeriya da Niger har karfe 6 kenan saurakwata a gogon GMT da Ghana rabiya ta kabar rankace ke gabatar muku da wannan shiri daga sashen Hausa na BBC to nan gaba a cikin shirin zamu je Senegal za kuma mu je Ghana muna kuma ta fada labarin wasanni To a Najeriya a yau ne ministocin harkokin wajen kasashen mambobin kungiyar ECOWAS ko CDAO za su si taro wanda shine karan farko bayan kasashen Niger da Mali da kuma Burkina Faso sun sanar da fuciwar su daga kungiyar yayin da bangare guda kuma shugaban kasar Senegal Mike Sall ya dage babban zaben kasar taron ministocin ka iya zama sharar fage ga taron da shugabannin kasashen shiyar za su yi don tunkarar wadannan matsalolin ga rahoton Ibrahim Isa Taron kamar yadda wata sanarwar da kungiyar ECOWAS din ta wallafa a shafinta na internet ta nuna taro ne na musamman da ya kunshi an kwamitin shiga tsakani da majalisar tsaro a matakin ministoci wadanda sanarwar tace za su yi zama da nufin tattaunawa akan halin da shiyar Afirka ta yamma ta samu kanta ta fuskar tsaro da wasu matsaloli da suka jebanci siyasa kuma bisa al'ada wannan taron ka iya zama sharar fage ga zaman da shugabannin kasashe mambobin kungiyar za su yi da kabiyo baya kwanaki kadan Ganin cewa wannan ne taro na farko da wadannan jigajigan kungiyar ECOWAS din za su yi bayan fucewar da kasashen Mali da Niger da Burkina Faso suka yi daga kungiyar ga kuma wata wutar ki China kokarin kunno kai sakamakon dage babban zaben da shugaban kasar Senegal Macky Sall yayi masanin siyasa professor Jibril Ibrahim ya ce ya kamata shugabannin kungiyar ECOWAS din su yi kafa kafa su maida hankali wajen lalamar ƴaƴan kungiyar idan ba haka ba kuma garin gyaran gira a rasa ido kungiyar nan na ECOWAS tana cikin matsala sosai kasashe guda hudu sun fita daga tsarin demokradiya Senegal ta shiga wani hali kundin tsarin mulki din kaman an jefar da shi ne in kasashe biyar cikin sha biyar suna da irin wannan matsala kungiyar nan za ta iya rushewa ma gaba daya yawancin kasashen nan suna cikin matsalan yan ta'adda ba wai kawai ma masu jihadi ba domin haka batun tsaro zai da lalacewa Kasum Mukhtar wanda tsohon minista ne a gwamnatin shugaba Bazum da sojoji suka ture a Niger ya ce akwai bukatar shugabannin sai da yawan surungu masalan cizawa da hurawa kuma wani matakin kare jefa kungiyar yake yi cikin rudani ta kunkumi yau tsawon wata kusan bakwai yake yi ma al'umma ba ma al'umman mu Niger ba azaba ya kamata su su janye shi in sun nura dukkan wannan takunkumin da aka doka bai hana ba ita al'umma musamman nan Niger ta ci gaba da kamar goyen bayan shi wannan shugaban kasa general Tani wanda ya nuna alama cewa eh, matakin da su ECOWAS suka doka al'umma ba tayar da shi ba ita kuna ECOWAS ya kamata kasance ECOWAS ce ta al'umma ba hanyar da za a yi a samu masalaha duk da cewa tun da farko shugabannin kungiyar ECOWAS din sun cije kan matsayin su na dakatar da kasashen da suka buji rewa demokradiyar tare da sanya musu takunkumi professor Jibril Ibrahim ya ce ba gazawa bace idan suka sassauta domin a samu masalaha dole ne ECOWAS ta samu yin da za a tattauna da su a nemin mafita ba wai a nuna musu cewa ana da karfi za a iya musu takunkumin da zai sa dole su dawo to kasashen nan na ECOWAS karfin su dukan su na raguwa dukan su na cikin yunwa to cikin wannan halin baraka ba zai iya gyara abin da ya riga ya lalace ba a ranar 28 ga watan janairin da ya wuce ne kasashen Mali da Niger da Burkina Faso suka sanar da fucewar su daga kungiyar ECOWAS suna zargin cewa babu abin da zaman su a kungiyar ya tsina namu su Ibrahim Isa sashen Hausa na BBC Abuja Nigeria to ko menene fatan al'ummar jamhuriyar Niger game da wannan tattauna da ministocin wajen kungiyar ta ECOWAS za su yi wakiliyar mu cima ila isu fita tattaro mana ra'ayoyin wasu daga cikin su da lalle muna fatan cewa Allah isa wannan zama mu ji alheri saboda ko ba komi yan kasar Niger da na Najeriya da